older you get, the um, more attractive the bald guys. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's going well up here. But so, um, I'm hot, I'm steamy, I'm not menopause. <laughs> um, I find it helpful to get to know someone by learning about their nicknames. So I wanted to talk to you about some of my nicknames. So, my longest lasting nickname I got when I was 10 years old and I was pretty pissed off because a three year old gave it to me and it was Little Lucky Day. And that has oh. taken off on, um, on Facebook. Even people that have never met me call me Little Lucky Day, which um, really pisses me off. I said to my doctor, um, why do people treat me like shit? And um, he said, it's because you're little. So to be get reminded every day about how everybody else is better than me, that's a bit of a problem. Um, then probably my next most significant nickname was Jugsy. So when I started at Echuca High, I had this 12-day uh, rack. I looked like a Bratz doll because I was tiny. And um, all the boys, even the good ones, would have a grope. I used to go home with these <laughs> sore breasts and um, it was, yeah, just on all day, every day, and um, it wasn't... I, I, I'm listening to all this information about um, Me Too, Me Too, and I'm like, are you whinging, bitches? This was going on at Echuca High, like, <laughs> back in the 80s. Like, wow. Um, my next favourite, probably my most influential, my favourite, favourite uh, nickname has been... Um, you stupid bitch. <laughs> and that one, no, that was from my best friend and we did three years of boarding school together and then we did three years of the old style Alfred Hospital training. So, and I knew that this girl and I were going to be best friends on our first night at boarding school. We were having a midnight feast and there were 14 of us in year 10 and um, I'd been sent away to boarding school because I was... Um, well, mum and dad said it was promiscuous, but I was just the one guy, so I don't really think that that's promiscuous. But, um, yeah, so they thought that sending me off to boarding school would help with that, but it didn't because we weren't very well supervised. And um, so I knew that this girl was going to be my buddy because we were going around the circle and it was... Um, the question was how far have we been with a boy? And there was two girls that had been there since year seven and they said, oh, never kissed a boy, never kissed a boy. And it got to me and I'm like, yeah, I kissed a boy. And then we get to my friend and she says... I've been fingered by a boy called Cricket at the movies and I'm like, fucking you and me, we're, we're going to be together. And we, um, we got up to a lot of mischief, but I'll, um, probably my favourite um, prank we played at the Alfred Hospital when we were both student nurses. We had this really hot guy who got kicked in the kidneys playing football and we were testing his urine for blood to make sure he wasn't bleeding to death. And um, I don't know whose fault it was, but we ended up putting mercurochrome and Dexel in his stainless steel urinal, and it wasn't a very good idea. He wasn't very happy about that. Um, I, um, yeah, oh, and uh, it was messy, and he was wearing his own clothes too, and it didn't come out. And um, so then, then the, the, um, I ran in, so I kept in touch with this girl. She kept in touch with me, more like I'm, I'm a lazy friend, and um, uh, I met up with her daughters, and her youngest daughter said to me, Kerry, lucky. Um, what was the naughtiest thing you did at boarding school? And I had a little think and I said, uh, your uncle. <laughs> and my friend, she said to me, lucky, she's too young to, for you to say that. And I said, hey, she's 17. Don't you remember cricket? <laughs> <laughs> been called, then look through my hair, all the guys I ever lived with have all called me some sort of a C, uh, whether it's a little C, an F in C. Um, I remember I was working, I was at work and I walked out of my office and I said to this 65 year old scientist, uh, my husband just rang me and he called me an F in C and this scientist said, well at least that's anatomically and physiologically correct. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. So I've been working in the university sector for 16 years and I was pre pretty pissed off to find out that, the, that these tertiary students, the best they could come up with was, they called me Big K. And I'm like, how lame is that? And, um, and then one of my colleagues explained to me that um, originally the word Kunt was spelt with a capital K, a big K. And I'm like, well, now I feel a bit better about that now that there's 15,000 health professionals out there calling me a big K. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I can get with that. Um, as far as I'm nearly there. Um, 
I, I went out with, so I've been, so lucky day, that's my online um, dating profile name, um, and um, I went out with this bloke and he says, oh, gee, you're lucky to have such a great body, and I said, this is luck, this is anxiety and depression, and... <laughs> Anxiety, depression, bulimia, and alcoholism. My um, doctor asked me what it was like to turn 50, and I said, Well, I like it. Um, I'm all done with the how can I help you hormones. I'm kind of like a guy now. Um, I get, get away with things I would have never even thought of before, and um, I become kind of invisible. And um, I said, oh, the thing that I like best about it is I've gone from fuck me to fuck you. Thank you. Now, um, even my doctor's scared of me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, yeah. hey.